Today, I'm sharing one of my favorite warm up series designed specifically for male or lower voiced singers. These exercises will help you reduce breathiness in the lower part of your range so that you will have more presence in your voice and also not run out of air so fast. Hi, I'm Annie Little, your voice coach, and welcome back to The Unlimited Voice, where we help singers and speakers elevate their skills with practical tips and vocal techniques. If you haven't already, check out my recent chest voice exercise exercise video for female and higher voice singers. In that video, I explain what chest voice is and how to strengthen it. So it's a great companion to today's warm up. Now for male singers, it's less common to be what I call light chest, where you're bringing too much head voice down into the lower part of your range. However, what I often notice, especially in singer songwriters and rock singers, is this tendency to be breathy even in the lower range. So they'll kind of get this, oh, sound going on. This breathiness can affect the quality of the entire range. It can make higher notes harder to sing, and it can also cause more extrinsic muscle tension, muscles we don't need that start trying to help. Now, don't get me wrong, breathiness can be a fantastic stylistic choice. As long as it's used tastefully and it's not all the time, but when we're training, the goal is balance, a healthy relationship between airflow and vocal cord engagement. And if you're doing your vocal exercises with a breathy tone, you're out of balance. That's why today's warm up is all about getting a little bit more cord closure, especially in the bottom of the voice, reducing breathiness, and creating balance, not only in the lower part of your range, but throughout the voice in its entirety. Let's dive in. The first thing I want you to do is you're just gonna take a really nice low breath. I don't want your shoulders to move, so you're gonna breathe in without moving any of your upper chest. Great, all right. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna say the word B, like bumblebee, and I just want you to say B. Now B should help you feel not breathy. That B is stopping the air, that E, should help you get a little bit more chord closure, help the chords come together. So B, B, B. Now what I don't want is B, 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 uh, I don't want this high larynx, uh, B. And I also don't want you to push the larynx down like this, B, so you don't need to be there. You need to be just nice and neutral in the middle there, B, 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 B. Great, now in my voice, B, 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 and I'm just talking on pitch. For you, I want you to do it down here. I want you to do. Right there, okay? So say B and then speak it on pitch. Talking on pitch, don't let it be breathy. Good. Come back up for me. Take those nice low breaths in between. Check in with yourself, make sure you're not being breathy. Last one. Excellent. All right, the next thing you're gonna do is we're gonna do it on a bratty neigh. So you can make this nice and ugly. We're not going for a pretty sound. We're going for like a neigh, 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 neigh. All right, so in my voice, it would sound like this. Neigh, 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 neigh. Nice and bratty and nasty right here. Yep. 
Yep, you're just talking on pitch in a really nasty, bratty way. Nay, nay, nay. Yep, make it ugly. Nay, 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 nay. Last one. Now, be playful about this. Just nay, 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 nay. And I want you to let your jaw be bouncy while you do it. Don't keep your jaw stuck. Just very nay, 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 nay. Last one. Excellent. All right. How did that feel? Check in with yourself. Was that less breathy? I know it was an ugly sound, but we're not going for pretty right now. The thing I love about nays is they tend to thin people out who are too heavy and they tend to thicken people up who are too light. So either way, it's probably helping your voice. Now, let's take this up. And when you're in the bottom, I want you to stay in that nice spoken place in my voice, because I'm gonna go a little higher. It would be like this. And I'm just gonna keep it on that feeling of speaking nay on pitch. Nay, nay, nay. Nay, 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 nay. Just like that. Now for you, I want you to do it right here. Now just trust that your voice is gonna go where it needs to. I don't want you to try to put it somewhere. Just let yourself act nasty and bratty and twangy. And you're just gonna do it right here. Nay, 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 nay. Bounce that jaw. gonna keep going and I want you to stay nice and bratty and keep that jaw wagging like a dog tail. yourself how is that feeling did it feel playful was it nasty and ugly the way we want it we are not going for pretty sounds right now and we are now going to take that same scale same notes and we're going to do it on a bratty na like this na na like na 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 now i will give you the option to do this because some people just find it easier and they automatically want to add a y in there and go nya 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 if that feels easier to you and you like that modification, go for it. It's totally fine. I'm gonna do it like this. So in my voice, it would be like this. Nice and ugly. Na, 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 na. Now in your voice, we're gonna start down here. Let's go for it. Ready? Na. Let that jaw wag. gonna feel.
everyone should feel like it's all just in your chest voice, in your speaking voice. Okay, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do a few more actually, but one more that's this similar scale. You're gonna do it on a na. Now this is gonna sound a little bit more finished or like it's a little closer to something that you would use in a performance instead of that bratty, ugly sound. So I want you to say for me, na, 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 like you're about to say nothing or none. And you're gonna go, in my voice, it would be like this. Na, 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 na. All right, but you're gonna do it here. All right, so na, like nothing. And it can keep a little bit of that feeling of what you just had with that brattiness. It doesn't need to be super bratty, but if it's a little bratty, that's okay. Let your voice go where it wants to. Don't try to force it into anything. Let your voice choose where it wants to go. You just keep thinking, I'm talking on pitch. Na, 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 na. If it helps, really kind of emphasize the end. You don't need to overdo it and go and like, you know, squeeze it or anything, but just think na, na, mm. Really use the N as you're going. Good. Now, if these top notes are feeling strained and squeezy, I want you to think like, uh, I want you to think the word nook or n. You don't have to go all the way to it. You're still on na, but I want you to think uh. So instead of na 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 na, I want you to go na 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 na. And don't spread your lips. Pretend like there's like a little tether that's holding the corners of your lips together. Still. Good. Come back down. Na 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 na. Good. Last one. Great. All right. Last one. We are going to go back to that na. Now, just like the modification I gave you earlier, if it's starting to get squeezy or heavy feeling at the top, I want you to think uh instead of uh. But if it's not doing that, just stay on uh. But otherwise, you can kind of think like this. Na 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 na. Okay, so kind of na 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 a little bit towards uh, or just stay right on the na 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 na. Na, 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 where you're just on uh. But I just want to give you that modification in case it starts feeling a little heavy. All right, let's go back down to your note. You're going to go here on that na. Really use that N, na, na, na. Keep, take those nice low breaths, keep the jaw bouncy, and don't let yourself go na, 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 na. Keep it nice and vertical. there check in with your voice see how you feel I hope that you feel less breathy and more like you have a better clearer tone and that even those high notes are feeling a little bit easier if you liked that warm-up and you liked those exercises please check out the unlimited voice Academy we've got tons more exercises like that so you can continue on your vocal journey of improvement and unlimiting your voice if you liked this video please 
like and subscribe and share it with your friends. And I can't wait to see you in the next one.